a dead man looking to bury another victim here tonight. Oh man, I never tire of seeing The Undertaker lay his poor opposition to rest. Working for control. In full control. Controlling the tempo. Oh, what force behind that kick. Big E came to WWE from the worlds of NCAA Division I football and powerlifting. After barreling through the competition in NXT, Big E proved immediately he was going to be a major player when he debuted on Raw as the enforcer for Dolph Ziggler. You know, Michael, Big E certainly made quite the debut on Raw in 2012. It wasn't too long afterwards, Big E won the coveted Intercontinental Championship and continued to mow down anyone that stood in his way. It's like watching someone being manhandled. What force. No kidding. What a slam. Boy, he just got laid out. Jerry the King Lawler. In a relatively brief period of time, Big E has accomplished a great deal. His in-ring WWE debut came at WrestleMania 29, and E quickly became recognized as one of the most powerful intercontinental champions after that. Impressive, to say the least. The range of emotions here is starting. There's almost an unknowing of what to expect. I know. I, I mean, I got goosebumps. This match is going to be so unpredictable. I just can't wait. Man, that's got to hurt. This is the kind of all-out battle that could end up anywhere, and the idea is to do whatever you need to to win. Cole, it can't be debated. Big E has had a remarkable career in a short amount of time. To go from a bodyguard to your debut match taking place at a WrestleMania and then to win the Intercontinental Championship, a title with so much history, it's amazing. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Seven. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. You witness this type of physicality and wonder, if it looks this bad on the outside, how much worse is it on the inside? Yeah, there could be some serious internal damage here. A major highlight for Big E came on November 18, 2013, when he won the Intercontinental Championship. That night on Raw, he bulldozed over Curtis Axel in my home state of KC. So you know that's an extra special night right there. And Curtis Axel, well, he hasn't been the same since. Undertaker with a reversal. Well, it looks like I'm not the only one who didn't see that one coming. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Yeah, the cram is cinched in. The knee is torqued, putting the back in a lot of trouble. Jerry, when Big E won the Intercontinental Championship on Raw, that was a huge night. I think some considered him beating Curtis Axel an upset. Axel was champion for five months, and Big E, never backing down from a fight, came to Raw and took care of business. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. He's too busy bragging and boasting and battling in this matchup. Two. He 
these are great competitors. Great, tremendous gladiators here in WWE. Some of the best superstars that WWE have to offer. The worst place in the world to be is on The Undertaker's bad side. November 18th, 2013 will certainly stand out as a milestone in the career of Big E. For the Tampa, Florida native to defeat Curtis Axel, a third-generation superstar in his own right, for the coveted Intercontinental Championship is something Big E will never, ever forget. Oh, you got that right, though. You never forget your first, right? Big E scores with a tremendous move. Uh -oh. okay. He's in position, ready to strike. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Inside the ring again. Yeah, and they should be. This is where the action going for the cover. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. Ladies and gentlemen, when we start looking at the moves of Big E, that's when I'm reminded how much I appreciate the opportunity to talk about them as opposed to feeling them. Brutal shoulder tackles, a crushing belly to belly. That's it. He's done. Big E is really feeling it now. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy. Oh, man, is he fired up. Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still don't see him giving up. No! Undertaker! I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. Oh, looking to put an end to this one. Oh, man. Every time you withstand force like that, it hurts. Back in the ropes, and that may have been the only escape. Look out! Look at this hole! He may have him here! Oh man, this has got to hurt! I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he gonna do next? to build momentum. When you're beat up, the last thing you want to have to deal with is this. Oh, quick pin. Can he do it? Maybe. Oh, and the right body block from Big E should seal the deal here. Hard to come back from that. You're right. You may not get up for a week after that. Some damage has been dished out, but certainly not enough to assume this one's even close to being over. Three. I like it. Let's get this thing done inside the ring. Big E hit that one. Oh, there it is. What a maneuver. Covers. Matchups like this have been a staple of main events since the program's debut back in 2012. Will this be it? I think he's got it. Let me tell you something, Cole. He did it. 